time it is? Holster time. Who am I kidding? It's always holster time. Every day. Sometimes I eat, sleep, and poop holster time. It's actually no joke. But anyways. Paintball guns. Pepper ball guns. We're going to do it all. Today is a very cool... Oh, God. Berna? Byrna? B-Y-R-N-A. Berna? That's what I'm going to call it. So this is a pepper ball gun. It holds five rounds. All right, this was sent to me by a um, customer of mine, and I finally found material wide enough to make my own blocking. Uh, you guys have seen me with this stuff, All right? Um, that's what I use. This, <laughs> we don't need all of it. So uh, I'm gonna show you how I make blocking. Um, this is a relatively interesting piece. Needless to say, this is a uh, 12 gram adapter, and that is to use the larger um, CO2 cylinders, and it drops the uh, flashlight down farther. Now, the guy that owns this, this is smart. He took the mount on the Olight and flipped it. He is right-handed, and he's looking for an inside the waistband and an outside the waistband um, holster. This is rather large to do inside the waistband, but the customer's always right. So it was brilliant of him to switch this mount so it's not digging in to um, your boys, your junk, whatever. So uh, that's that's pretty cool and uh, good on his part. So we're going to make blocking for this and we're gonna make a uh, pretty much a convertible inside the waistband, outside the waistband. It's gonna use a foamy on one side and it will have a G-code paddle on the other. And um, this is gonna take a little bit. You need the right tools. You need, um, I wouldn't necessarily say the know-how, but uh, let's get this going. First thing is first, get your happy little butt down to your local Home Depot or hardware store and pick up some aluminum flat stock. This is flat bar. It's one eighth inch thick. That's what I do for everything here. Uh, this is two inch by three feet. All right. Um, this was 10 bucks, something like that. I don't know. And uh, we are going to be using it to make the blocking. Now, this is something I've learned over the years. This sticker. This sticker will make you angry. Take it off or don't use that part because the Kydex will stick to it or the, it just transfers the ink and then it just comes off in the holster and it's just, it's a pain in the butt. I learned that the hard way and I threw out that holster. So get this off or start at the other end and do this for another time. Now I'll tell you, two inch, I, I don't think I've ever used two inch other than possibly, I might've made this one with it because I do remember cutting some. So we're gonna go ahead, uh, I'll mark this in a certain design that is, uh, you'll see noticeable to, uh, or somewhat the same to the other blockings that I have, and then we'll cut it on my bandsaw, my grinders, my whatever, and um, go from there. First off, we know we're gonna want this to extend up to here or extend past the air, go down, whatever. Um, I might take that flashlight off and use my own. But anyways, so we know, actually go here, right? Let's see here. We'll need to go at least right there. And that's gonna come up to the mount. And then we can stop it right there or continue going. I will probably, bam. So we're gonna cut that part out. And this is gonna continue straight. We don't need it to be super far. So we'll just cut it. We'll just cut it right here. All right, and we'll cut that side. So this is uh, gonna be the blocking for this. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, we'll cut this out. We're gonna use the uh, bandsaw on that. See how it goes. And yeah, we'll just go from there. So to keep control of everything while I'm going, we're gonna cut this first and we'll go ahead and cut the last one.
here is blocking number one and it'll look like that. The reason why I'm doing that is you're going to want most of the flashlight exposed in the holster. That way you're not going to get the flop because if you, if you don't do it, you cover the whole thing, you're going to get wiggle and then it's just not fun. Uh, especially since they're doing outside the waistband and inside the waistband. Now it's a pretty light gun. It's not top heavy at all because all the weight's in the front. And like I said, the magazine, it's, it's really light and there's uh, it's literally it's just five rounds and a spring. There's no CO2. CO2's in here. So, um, but there's number one. And now let's design number two. Obviously, number two is going to be a little bit different. I mean, uh, I mean, it's pretty basic forward. Actually, we can do pretty much the same shape. That actually, that actually work out as well. Um, we're gonna do almost the same shape. We'll do this, but we're gonna come down as well, and then go over. Uh, or we could go like that. I'll probably do that. Um, that way, it it will save this part as open. Um, so we'll come down and then go over. So what I'll do is handy dandy maca and then put this where it would be and that'll be right there so we'll cut that And this will stay. All right. So now you've seen how I've done it. So with movie magic, what do you know? Bam. So again, this guy is going to go right here. Block like so. And on this side, this guy is going to go, oh, oh yeah, I forgot, I got to cut another chunk out. <laughs> My bad. Whoops. All right, let's try that again. Over here, da, 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 da. and looks like. There we go. That's homo abata. So the way this is going to be set up, looks like it's going to be right about there. And then the space right here will give us that indent that we need. Cool. I am happy with that. So um, I'm most likely not going to do a sweat shield on here. It depends. I mean, I could get this up to here and then... We can block over this, you know. I don't want to take the chance of squishing anything because this entire firearm is plastic. But if we do decide, we could do, you know, that right there, block it up around here. So we'll see. That's the only tricky part about doing all this stuff. But what we're going to do is we're going to lay down some stuff. So this is, in fact, a Balder Mini. So here's my... Balder Mini. All right, that's right where it was. That way I'll scratch mine, not his. That's nice too, nice color. God, I love that color. Anyways, all right, back to this. Uh, we're going to go ahead. We're going to cover this in tape. First things first, when you are pressing polymer firearms, I mean, this thing is, it's thick. It is thick. Um, but what you want to do is you don't want to crush it, uh, you know, because that's, that's a no-no. So um, first things first, I'm going to empty this guy's balls. And I'm going to go ahead and just put a couple 
layers of tape on this. And what that's doing is that's going to give you the thickness that you'll need just so it, it, it stays thick inside. Now it's going to be hard to push in and given hard to push in, it's going to be hard to take out, but it is, it can come out. So we'll put it in with the tape. There we go. And again, that's going to allow it so this doesn't get squished. Um, we are going to tape all this now. All right, now a good thing about this is actually gonna cover a lot of the trigger guard. Now the only retention will literally be on this right here. Get that in there. And like I said, we'll do this side first. And that will be locked in right here. And back it up just a hair. There we go. Perfect. That. Throw a piece of tape on here to keep this down. There we go. Let's get the other side situated. And then, uh, We'll decide if we want to do, if we want to cover the safety or not. Uh, let's see. So again, this is going to line up like so. You can do that right there. And that bump is where it's going to be. So I'll pump it out just a little bit. go around oh. I'll do another one right here Right, that looks good. Another important fact is you want to make sure these are lined up, otherwise you're going to have an uneven side. Um, let's see here. It's going to be right-handed inside the waistband. So if we do a sweat shield on this side, um, we could have the paddle here for the OWB. Actually, the paddle's going to be in the center, so it'll be more right here. So that's good. Um, and then right here, it's going to be open, so we don't have to worry about blocking this side. Um, yeah, there is one thing I forgot to do, and that means I'm gonna have to take this apart. No big deal. We just do this. Put some tape right here. That way, it will um, lessen the chance of marks from the blocking. And sadly, with polymer guns and blocking, it happens. So we'll do our best not to do that. And by that, we're gonna do multiple layers of foam, and I'll show you, show you what I mean. All right, so now we could go back into 
locking this down. Luckily, there's no slide catch or anything like that that we have to worry about. Otherwise, this would be a blocking nightmare. Okay. And we'll do one more right here just to keep the end together. All right. So let's do a blocking here. There's a couple things we can do. I could cut a piece of wood and go around it and then do, you know, something like this. Um, I might actually have blocking. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll take some quarter inch wood that I have kicking around and I'll make blocking like that. And success. That'll sit right there. And I will tape that in. There we go. Like so. Yeah, let's use the thicker stuff. And then I'll put this right here. Okay, now let's see here. I need blocking for the foamy, which is that. And then I will need blocking for the paddle. All right, here's the paddle. We'll put that here. We gotta see here. Hey, yada yada yada. That looks good right there. Alright, another thing, definitely don't want to forget this, we're going to have to do a sight channel, a very small sight channel, Keep this right here, And then you need the foamy, which looks like it's going to be just like that. And we will need, let's see here, a small piece of, looks like that right there. This is so it doesn't move. Throw that on top. And that's going to be it. Probably throw this here so we have room for the foamy to grip onto. Actually, let's see where the foamy will bring us. We're here, it brings it pretty much right to the end, so that'll work out. this in place right here and the next step is going to be you guessed it retention plate so let's do that giant piece and then we're gonna cut our giant piece of black throw it in the press and go from there line it up we're gonna go just like that, and literally all we're doing is just tracing the outline. 
We'll give it some space because that's going to be a lot. Burna. Baller Mini. Double yay. Me, I like to take my thick stuff. Make sure it's in the center. And then center that and squeeze down. That's good to go. All right. So, let's see what we have for colors. I'm really thinking black. It's just because there's a lot of gray on it. And I think the black would look good. I'm just going to look. This piece is nine inches, which is good, but it's only a foot wide. Nope. Something like this, you want to oversize it. 15 by 10 and a half. That should do the trick. Like I said, though, because this guy is so thick and because it's polymer, I'm going to go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and do two layers of foam on the bottom, two layers of foam on the top. Let's grab some foam. Yeah, pull up my pants. We got 90 seconds left, so should be good. It's actually been a productive day. I've done like 10, 15 orders and uh, lasered a lot of PMAG, so I'm happy. Got some orders out. I am just about done. I have eight orders left for October. And then I could get on my November, which is good because it's only like 10 or 15. So, yeah. Well, it's out of the press. And I looked up at my cameras and saw this. Yep, it is snowing. Yay. It was supposed to rain tonight, so looks like I'm gonna plow in the morning because apparently it's supposed to be enough to plow. But anyways. Looky looky. That looks good. I like it. I like it a lot. Um it's my first time doing this, so let's hope it comes out good. Right. Um, first things first, whenever I take a polymer gun out, I check it. There's no visible lines on either side. Mag falls right out. I, I will guarantee, I would bet money that if I didn't put tape on here and reinsert it and press it, this would not slide out under its own power. Uh, safety works and everything seems to work as it should. So we are good there. Um, now for the fun. Let's see here. Let's grab my foamy. Do that. We know we're going to go on here. And then on this side. Mark those. And let's see here. This is the only thing here. So, yeah, we're going to come up. Probably about here. So this, this is gonna be weird on how we want to do this, but let's see here. I'll take this. Come all the way up. Obviously, we know we don't need a uh, arm R cut or anything like that. So the more material we leave, the stronger it'll be. So we'll do that. We know we're gonna. Stop it here, come up. So uh, you got you know a few things you can do. Um, because of the sheer size of this, 
I am probably going to put a retention screw probably in this area, so maybe right here. And then we're gonna put one here because I like to put one on each side of this. And then we'll put another one right about here. And then it's connect the dots outside. All right. And then, yeah, we can come out, well, yada, yada, yada. But I think we'll come down and then we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes. I mean, I can come out more here and come down in that way, leave a little bit more material. We'll see. Maybe, maybe I'll cut like there because obviously I can't add it. So let's do that first and see what it's like. And if uh, we don't like it, then we'll cut right there. Um, but for now, let's drill. And of course, after we drill, clean the holes. Hey, this is my brand new Ryobi. Cheap, cheap, cheap. If you already have the batteries, you're talking like 26 bucks on Amazon. So, and you know I like to have different drills for each one. So I don't have to waste the time. Let's cut. Moment of truth. We're just going to do it like this because It'll be stupid to finish it and then I gotta redo it. So, but I'm gonna press it, see what happens. Oh, okay. Ah, it's hanging up on this, so I gotta cut that off anyway. Hold on a second. I think that's gonna work good. I think it's gonna be extremely uncomfortable inside the waistband. Let's throw it together. Let's clean it up. There appears to be no signs of intelligent life anywhere. Give her a nice clean. Right, we'll take our Noga tool. There we go. We'll get our insides all clean. Right. Let's get some hardware. I usually start with roughly a quarter spacing and see how it goes. 
from there. Put it together, hung up on one spot. Figured it out though. On PLs, right here. Sometimes the Kydex goes behind the flashlight. Once it's in, it locks it or it doesn't want to put it in. Now with these particular lights, because of the sheer angles, you have to make sure that you have a, a good path for that. So um, that is fixed. So check this out. Ah. Oh. Ah. Isn't that nice? So I like it. And uh, we're just gonna put the rest of the hardware on and he'll have an inside, outside convertible. So let's, let's finish it. This is a, definitely a wide mamma jamma. So I'm pretty sure he's not gonna inside the waistband carry it, but hey, you never know. I have been wrong. And I don't lock tight these because it is adjustable retention, but the end user should lock tight them to their particular settings. All right, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Eh, you know what? I thought it was gonna be a lot harder than it actually was. Uh, but obviously I'm gonna go ahead, laser another clip. This one is a, is a, a junk one because it was all scratched up. But uh, laser that so he has that and the material. And I'll go ahead and get this lasered for what it is and get it out to him. Again, thank you for watching this video. I hope you picked up a tip, a trick, or two, or whatever. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the bell button, whatever you want. But as long as you guys support me, I'll support you. And come on, if you comment what you want to see me build, I will build it. So, until then... Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee!